Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your body weight ISO fire workout. So in this workout, we're gonna use no equipment to strengthen and sculpt your entire body while we keep your heart pumping for cardio. We're gonna be working with all body weight moves, but we're gonna add some isometric holds and a quick fire round to really get our bodies working hard. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just with a quick warm up. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short. So go ahead and just start moving your body, march, jog, step, whatever you need to do just to get the blood flowing. Try to let go of any tension, any tightness, any stress or anxiety you might be feeling from the day. And let's just be present right here, right now to move our bodies. No equipment needed for this workout. We're gonna get it done with just our body weight. Let's roll those shoulders. We're gonna start with just some mobility work here, some dynamic movements. Again, we'll keep it pretty short, so if you know that you need a few more moves, mobility, or warm up, go ahead and get it on your own. But we're gonna get you in and out. It's gonna be a fun one today. Let's take it out right here, flat back down, and then round it up. The way this workout works is we have three rounds of, well, some of them will be more because they'll be right side, left side, but three versions of the same move. Let's take it right here. So in that regard, it's a no repeat. So what we get is we start with one move. It's gonna be a compound move as much as these body weight moves can be compound exercises. Walk those feet in and let's take it right here. We're gonna squat it down and then we're gonna hinge it. So you're here, squat down and hinge. So some of these things, we're gonna be adding a little upper body to some of our lower body and vice versa. We're gonna get some core working. But if something feels like too much, too much for your brain, of course, you can always just pick one. If you're like, oh, I just wanna do the lunge on this, totally fine. You do you, you know what I always say, be where you are today. This is your workout. So let's take it down in that squat. If you can get low and just a little shift side to side. We're taking it here, hands down if you're able, and then walk those feet in, and little pedal of the feet. So if you can't get this low, totally fine, just be here. And then if you're able, we're gonna walk our feet back. So either walk to your feet or down on your knees. So we're here, just feeling that core getting fired up and ready to go. Let's do a little child's pose back. And you can either come up to all fours or come up to that plank. Big stretch here. Drop those shoulders down a little side to side. Stretch here. Back down. And bring it forward. And let's get one more. Right through here. And as we're coming up, let's bring one foot here. Big stretch. Take it down. Step it back. You can step from the knees or the toes. If that's not right for you, just hang out in the child's pose. We'll just get a couple of these. World's greatest stretch before we take it up. So again, we got three different versions. We got our regular combo move, back to basics, for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna get an isometric, which most things will be two rounds, so that's gonna be where we hold one and we move the other, and then we switch it. It'll make sense once we get there. Go ahead and walk your feet in and slowly round it up. So don't stress about that right now. I'm gonna talk you through it, tap and reach across. So we've got our isometric holds, where we'll hold one thing, move the other, then switch. Then we have 20 seconds, those are 30 seconds, 20 seconds of our fire round. All right, just like it sounds, we're adding a little fire, we're adding a little intensity. That does not have to mean that we're jumping, although sometimes you might have that option. That just means that we are moving in a way to bring the fire. So get excited about that. You can always keep everything with that first round. You do you, but we're gonna get a little burn, a little fire, little isometrics, we're gonna have a good time doing it. So watch me, your first move, we got 20 seconds. We're gonna do a stationary lunge or a split squat, so nice and wide, with a chest fly. So you're just here, so shoulders, upper body and arms, we're going down, we're bringing it up. So really think those goal post arms, so we get strong in the shoulders, strong in the core. As we lunge, we'll bring it in, in three, two, one. Bring it in, drive it up. 
Now we're not just going through the motions with our arms, we're nice and tight, right? So really squeeze in with the chest and shoulders, squeeze in the back. So we're getting your back working as well. If you need to modify the lunge, you can just do a little tap back, right? Or you can just hold it. If that feels like too much for your brain, just do the lunge, right? You don't have to be here. We got 15 seconds. You're gonna feel when you get really intentional, especially squeezing in the back, you're gonna feel that. Breathe into it. Take it back. Three, two, one. Stay right where you are, but breathe for just a second. Come out of it. Now we're gonna get 30 seconds back to back. We're gonna hold the lunge for our first three and do our in and out. Then we're gonna hold this in. We're gonna do our lunge. 15 seconds, hold it out. Do our lunge, 15 seconds. So we'll split that 30. All right, so go ahead and get in position. Then we'll get a quick breather, 20 seconds of our fire. Then this side is done. All right, hold it down in that lunge. We're gonna do the fly in three, two, one. Here we go, in and out. So I want you to stay low in the lunge if you can. Think about squeezing in, again, chest and shoulders, but also as you pull back, squeeze in those back muscles, squeeze in the shoulder blades. Goal post arms, so keeping them high. I know as we get tired, they wanna sink down, bring it here, get the mobility work as well. As you get tired, we wanna sneak up. Let's stay down there, because we got five more seconds, and then we're gonna move into that lunge. Let's hold those arms in. Here we go, drop it down, bring it up, drop it down, bring it up. I know you're just glad to be out of it, right? Breathe, at the halfway point, we'll open up those arms. Yes, team, are you surprised at how much you feel your upper body? I know I am, take them out, keep that lunge. Breathe, ha. squeeze in the back, pull those shoulder blades in, keep the arms open. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, same leg forward. Breathe for a quick second. We got 20 seconds fire, here's what it is. We're gonna lunge it down. We're gonna bring that knee in and squeeze. Open out and here. If that doesn't work for you, pick your version of that. Little bit of fire, 20 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, 20, fire. Try to pick up your intensity in some way. So maybe that's adding the knee and the reverse lunge. Maybe you're just adding a little bit of speed. You do you. Whatever you gotta do, to add that fire, let's get it done for five, four, three, two, one. Oh man, right? Burn, burn, grab a sip of water. Burning in the legs, burning in the upper body. Even though we're not lifting a single weight here, guys, we're gonna get us everything working. Catch your breath, team. Remember with these hit workers, workouts or these, or any workout really, when we get that heart rate up, we want the recovery. We want that heart rate to come down. Mine is pretty high right now. I don't know about yours, but I'm totally feeling it. And I wanna make sure that I'm also getting that recovery. Here's what we got on the other side. So the other side, we're gonna take it to a push and a pull. So think shoulder press, pull down, push and pull. While we lunge everything down, everything up, let's do it in three, two, one. Here we go, pull down and lunge. Push up. And again, not just going through the motions with our upper body. I really want you to think that you're pulling something and you're pushing something. You're pulling something and you're pushing something. If that is too much for your brain or your body, just take it with just the lunge. Or you can always do one side and then switch when, whew, if you need a little balance. Pull and push, whoo. Speaking of balance, never fails when I mention balance. That right through here, three, two, one. Rest for a second, 20 seconds actually. We're gonna hold that lunge down. We're gonna push and pull. Then we're gonna hold halfway up for a lunge, 15 seconds down for a lunge, all right? That's our ISO. Let's get set in that lunge. Nice wide train tracks, get low if you can. Here we go, pull and push, pull and push, stay low. So what I mean, I know it's tempting to be here, but if we can't get low down here, right? Drop the knee. You can hinge a little bit into that front leg to give you that support so you're not tempted to be here. Pull and push, squeeze in those shoulder blades. 
Yes, you can. We got five more seconds. Isometric lunge. Here we go. Hold them up. Take it down and up. I want you to bring those hands together nice and tight. Focus on those arms, bringing your arms by your ears. So we get the chest opener as well. We get the shoulder mobility. Drop it down in the lunge. You can hinge forward a bit. Bring them down, iso hold here. Squeeze those elbows in. Pull those shoulder blades together. Not here, pull them down. Down and together. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Ha ha, right? Fire around. 20 seconds is all we need. Watch me here. So again with the knee, you decide how low you wanna go. You decide your pace, your tempo. You decide your intensity, but let's pick it up for fire. In three, two, 20 seconds only. Yes, you can. I know, I feel it too. Don't forget about that pull and that push. Even though we're driving the knee up, still strong in that upper body. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, grab some water, team. Meet me down on the mat. It's gonna be a fun one. Ha. Feeling everything, right? Legs, upper, high heart rate. There we go, 150. Whew. All right, team. So, meet me down on the mat. So we're coming into that plank press. What we're gonna add for a little different is bringing that knee in. So we're going up, up, down, down with the knee in, then we switch. If that feels weird to you at all, just keep your regular plank press. And if you need to, you can elevate it, you can keep it on your knees, you can take it on the wall. So lots of different options for you to do you. Watch me here. We're here, if you can, one knee is in. We're going down right, left, right, left, we're gonna switch. You don't have to keep it off the ground, but you can. Then we're switching left, right, left, right. We're gonna switch. If that feels like too much, you can also just drop the knee. You'll still get that core connection. We're adding a little extra core. We got that for 40 seconds. Then we'll stretch. Then we'll hold one knee, do one arm. Hold the other knee, do one arm. It'll make sense <laughs> once we get there. All right, team, so plank press and knee. You're switching your knees in between. Wrap that core, strong upper body, but also lots of core. Let's do it, here we go. Right leg in, down, down, up, up. Left leg in, down, down, up, up. Right in, and here. And it really doesn't matter, even if you go left, right, left, right, when the right knee's in, it doesn't matter. You might even feel that a little bit more. Again, if you need to, Drop that knee down. That gives you a little extra support. Drop that knee down. Up to you. Or stay on your knees the whole time. Also, an option, right? Five, four, three, two, and one. Big stretch. So every time we stretch from this, I want you to come up out of it. Rest your back. Roll those wrists. Here's what we got, team. We got 30 seconds. We got our right knee in. And we got our right one going down and up, down and up. 30 seconds there, little stretch in between, then 30 seconds on the other side. So right knee in, up high on the hands, right one down and up. Feels like too much, just keep a regular, no knees or stay on your knees. In three, two, one, here we go. Right arm only, down, push it up. So watch what happens here. One, my core stays contracted and it's not just about this arm, right? That's down and up. Watch this left arm. I'm getting a little tricep, right? Tricep, yes, you can. So keep it going, I know, down and up. So it's kind of like iso both, right? Iso knee, down and up. Yes, three, two, one. Big stretch, roll those wrists. We're not gonna do them back to back because I know that's a lot on your wrist. Do you feel that core working, especially with the knee coming in, adding that contraction? Do you feel that upper body? We're getting a lot of push, but also those triceps. Let's do same thing, other side. Here we go, left knee in, left hand down, and up. Trying to keep those hips square. You're gonna move a little bit, and that's okay, but I want you to really think nice and tight through here, and push. So strong in the core, strong through the legs, through that back leg. Yes, team, I know. I feel it too. 
Remember, you can drop that knee down and up. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. All right, team, I promise this one's almost over. This is a burner, right? A lot of upper, a lot of core. Here's what we got. Let's keep it simple. Fire around 20 seconds. Down, down, up, up. Run the mountain climber for four or walk the mountain climber. Whatever you got, we got 20 seconds. Down, down, up, up, knee, 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 knee. Here we go. Bring it up nice and strong. Last 20 in three, two, one. Here we go. Down, down, up, up. Four, three, two, one. Down, down, up. You pick your pace. Maybe you're going faster than me. That's okay. Hup, hup. 10 seconds. Strong core. Upper working so hard. Three, two, one. And breathe. Stretch it back. Ah, yes, team. Woo. Take it down or take it up. <laughs> Grab a sip of water, team. I know, I know. Think about that. It was really only two different moves. We got right side, left side where we mixed it up and then a move down on the mat. We got lower and upper. We got upper and core. Let's get it all together. All right, this one, we got lower and core. So watch me here, shake it out. We're doing a hinge. So think of your kickstand deadlift, right? It's a hinge and a leg lift. Bring it up. Hinge, leg lift. Then it's going to look like that single leg deadlift. I just want you to take the hinge, but isometric leg. Then we're going to hold the hinge. You can balance if you need to. And little leg lift. So I really want you to think core control. Front leg has the control. And if you need some balance, grab onto the wall, grab onto a chair, whatever you need. Then when we get some fire, we're gonna add a little jump at the top, it's totally optional. Are you with me? We got right side, left side. Let's start on this right side. Right leg forward, train tracks here. It's just your hinge, little leg lift at the bottom. If you need balance, let's do it, here we go. Hinge, back leg lift, and up. So again, if you wanna be here, here, you can lift, drive it up. Core's engaged, squeeze in the glute. So I really want you to think hinge, then squeeze. So you got right leg, then left leg. Yes, team. Guess what? We're going to take a few rests out of this one because we want to get you in and out and because you can. Squeeze, last one. Breathe. 10 second rest this time instead. So it's gonna look like your single leg deadlift. If you need balance or you wanna keep what you just did, go for it. Otherwise, isometric leg and a hinge. Here we go. So this one is holding. Keep it nice and tight through there. Push into that front leg. That's not right for you. Keep. <laughs> keep your kickstand or add some balance, right? Squeeze. So it's a little different than even our single leg deadlift because we're being super intentional about squeezing back through here, right? Right through here. Last one. 10 second rest. We're gonna drop it down in the hinge. So I want you to hinge from here. You can take the hands to the ground if you want. That might be a little better or on the wall or just stay stable, lift. Here we go. So stay in the hinge, lift the back leg. Squeeze in the glute. You're gonna feel what's happening here. This leg is working hard, right? Breathe. Whoo! Yes, you can. Think about that core. Whatever you need to do, you can use the ground. You're gonna feel that leg a little bit more, right? Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, leg burner. Seems like that should have been the fire, but we got one more. All right, team, hinge it down, drive it up. You can do it with or without the leg lift, kickstand or single leg. Drive up with the knee either way. Whether or not you get the jump is up to you. Three, two, one, fire. Breathe or here. Ha, yes. Woo. Take it down. Almost think your runner's hinge, right? Or here, drive it up. Five, four, Three, two, one. 
Sorry guys, that's where I was, right? I'm not gonna edit that out, I'm not gonna change it because that is real life, right? And that is my core working hard to stabilize. It doesn't matter if you're off balance. Clearly, I was just off balance for almost that entire 20 seconds. I was still safe, I was listening to my body, and my leg was still on fire, and my heart rate was up. So that is all that matters. Reminder, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect, I'm gonna slip too. Here we go. All right, team. Whew. Breathe for a few more seconds. Hinge and leg lift back to the top. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Hinge, lift. Take it down, lift. This is the one that feels at first like, oh, am I just getting a little stretch? But again, you know the fire's coming and I want you to think intentional, right? We're not just lifting the leg. We're nice and tight. Squeeze in the glute. Push into this front leg. Core is engaged. Super functional, right? I always remind you guys that stability work is so good for our core. Not just for functionality, but for actually getting strong abs. Breathe. 10 second rest. All right, team, here's what we got. We're gonna stay in that single leg deadlift. So you're keeping isometric here, nice and tight. Hinge it forward, down and up. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. Then we get a 10 second rest. We'll hold the hinge, we'll do the leg lift. Really focus on form. Again, if you need to balance on something, you can. It is like your single leg deadlift, but we're locking out a little bit more here. So we're nice and tight. And again, don't worry if you feel a little off balance. Stay safe, but again, the name of the game is to get that core working, to get those muscles working hard. It's not about perfection. Three, two, one. Let's hold it here. Stretch for just a second. We're gonna drop it in that hinge. We're gonna lift that leg. Again, we're not just lifting the leg here. We're nice and tight. Squeeze, balance, front leg working. Here we go. Woo, this is the one I think I feel the most. And again, if you need to, you can hold on to something on the wall chair, countertop. If you want to take it low, you're going to feel it, but you'll get a little balance. Just make sure we're not rounding in that back, right? We're staying in that strong, stable position. Burn! Who says you can't get a workout without any weights? Woo! Three, two, one. 10 seconds to breathe. We got our fire round. Am I going to keep my balance? Who knows? Does it matter? Absolutely not. Stay safe. Keep moving, 20 seconds, drop it down, knee up, here we go. Down, knee up, whoo! Maybe this one's gonna be better. With or without the jump, with or without the extended leg, you can also do kickstand, we know I did that the last time, and I still lost my balance, right? Whoo! Ha! Five, four, three, two, there's the burn. Grab some water team, meet me on the mat. Whoo, yes. All right. So if you're keeping score, we got lower and upper. We got upper and core. We got lower and core. Let's go back to a little upper and core. Actually, this one is putting it all together. All right team, so we got a little tricep dip. If this bothers your wrist at all, I know we did a lot, you can stay seated and just take your hands over your head. If you have a dumbbell, you wanna grab it, you can go here and then to V-sit. You can go triceps and V-sit. So that is your modification. Otherwise, if you're able, keeping your hips down, we're gonna bend triceps and we're gonna do a V-sit. Now, as we go on, we're gonna add a little bridge so we get a little glutes and hammies there, but we'll give them a break for just this first round. Tricep, push up. V-sit for core. That V-sit can be one knee at a time. It can be just sitting up nice and tall. You can do all this standing. If you wanna go overhead, drive those knees in. Let's do it, 40 seconds. Here we go, drop it down, push up, and then V-sit. Get set, fingertips in, down to the elbows, push. So you can tell you have to be intentional. You're not just lowering yourself back, right? You're actually going down, push up, from those elbows. Take it down, 
and up. What we're also getting is opening up in the chest. So chest opener, most of us are pretty tight through here, right? So when we get in this position, yes, we work our tries, but we also get a chest opener. Keep it moving here and here, right here. Boom, yes, and relax. Ha, Woo. take it right through here. All right, team, so now we can take it. We're going to get a little isometric holding with here. We're going down, we're going up. We're gonna switch this isometric just a bit. We're gonna take the VC it out for this round. We got 30 seconds, hold that bridge, drop it down, bring it up, all right? You're trying to keep those hips lifted. Isometric bridge, tricep dip. Too much for you? Find something in between. We got 30 seconds in three, two, lift it up. Here we go. And here. Again, you're trying to bend in those elbows. It's a little tricky. So find the range of motion that's good for you. Your hips are gonna drop, but you're not going here, right? So that's where the isometric comes in. Your hips are dropping with your upper body as we really isolate those arms. I know, right? So we're switching it up a little on this round because we're getting everything in. Five, four, three, two, one. Now let's give those wrists a break, stretch through those hamstrings, right? And our isometric for 30 seconds is gonna be here. We're gonna hold the arms here. We're gonna bring the knees in, either V-sit together or one at a time. So arms are here, here's your isometric. You're gonna feel it there, you're gonna feel it there. And then let's get the core working. You can also take this standing, 30 seconds, here we go. Isometric tricep, V-sit core. It's challenging, so do not be afraid to take it one knee at a time. You're still moving from that core, hands behind your head, elbows in. Looks like this, I know. Woo! Tougher than it looks, right? Again, you do you. I don't want you to feel like it has to be perfect, but it doesn't feel right in your body. Find something that does. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. What are we gonna get for fire? I don't know. Let's figure it out, team. So let's go down and up, and then here to here. Down and up, or up and down here to here. It's 20 seconds only. If you wanna just pick one, go for it. I know this is the one that you're gonna tell me about in the comments, because it's a little tricky, but just roll with me for 20 more seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. Bridge up and down, hands behind. Woo! Breathe in here. Take it up and down and breathe. Up. Yes. Take it up. We got it. Can we get one more? Woo. Ha. And breathe. Now, stretch. Give yourself a hand on that one because that was a really challenging one and I get it, right? That felt like a lot of stuff rolled through those wrists. Join me up top. It was a lot of stuff. Those moves were not easy, but man, did we feel it all the way? I think we did. All right, team, so one more. We got upper and lower. We got core. We're gonna squat it down. We're gonna punch it for four. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna accelerate this round. We're going 30, 20, and 10. Let's get it done. Think of it as your bonus move. Then we get a quick little stretch. 30 seconds, squat and punch. Hold the punch, hold the squat for 20 and 20, and then 10 seconds fire. I'll show you what that is. All right, team, 30 seconds, squat it down. Jabs for four, bring it back up. Here we go. Squat, four, three, two, one. Squat, four, three, two, one. Nice and tight again. What are we thinking about? Intentional with our arms and our core, we're getting that twist, right? Twist, 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 twist. Right here. Low in that squat, this is all of it together. Bonus move, but three parts. Here we go. Let's go right into it. Hold the squat with me. Punch, 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 punch. It's only 20, so you got it, team. Woo! Yes, all the way. Through 10 seconds, can you get low? Ha! Yes, breathe. Ha! Hold it here, take it down 
and up. 20 seconds, hold it out nice and tight. I know, keep it up. Nice, tight, switch your arms. Here we go, strong. Breathe, hang with me, this is it. I know. Breathe, ha. Three, two, one, punch for four. Four, three, two, fire. And jump, 10 seconds. Jump or just squat. One more. You did it. <laughs> I know, a little bit of a madhouse at the end, but that's okay. Just trying to get creative with these body weight moves. I know we love back to basics, but sometimes, look at that. Tell me that 30 minutes didn't go by fast. I feel like it did. I hope you feel that way too. Let's take those arms up. Because we had a lot of parts, a lot of things to think about. And again, when we're working with heavy, heavy load, we wanna keep things a little more simple. When we're working with our body weight, we can get more into those functional movement patterns. That, <laughs> you probably won't find yourself in that tricep v-sit a lot in your daily lives, but you will find yourself getting out of bed. You will find yourself getting up and down off the floor, using those core muscles, using those upper body muscles. So it's all functional, right? And because we're not working with added weight, we can get a little more creative. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I love hearing from you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Hope you felt like it moved fast. I know I did. I feel like I'm gonna feel my triceps tomorrow, but I'm also feeling, really feeling my core and my legs. Looks like we did the trick, team. Also got that heart rate up. So let me know in the comments. I love getting feedback from you. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. That helps me reach more people, get more people moving, more people moving in a way that feels good for them, that gives them options, that makes them feel good. So spread the word, subscribe, check us out on the Body Fit by Amy app and join the Body Fit Athletic Club if you haven't already. We'd love to see you there. Whew. Make sure you get some more stretching on your own. Right now, let's put those wrists down and stretch through here. So we get all through here. I know we got a lot of that push but we got that back working as well. And again, we got a lot of good mobility work. I hope you feel that. I hope you feel the strength, but also feeling a little looser in the chest and shoulders and back and places that we tend to get that tension. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so happy you decided to show up and move with me today. You should be proud of yourself for showing up and moving today. Woo! Speaking of balance, <laughs> was I? Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your body weight ISO fire workout. Great job, everybody.